Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last time, we were wandering uh, the camp at Ostagar, and now I'm just going to talk to Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. There this is, is. Sajori, a knight from Redcliffe. How'd you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Uh, <laughs> that's me. I'm the new girl. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. What do we need darkspawn blood for? For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. Uh, isn't the wilds dangerous? You weren't recruited out of charity. All three of you are skilled and resourceful. Alistair is the most junior member of our order and will accompany you as is tradition. Do not worry. I doubt you will need to go far into the wilds to find what you seek. Um... Hey. Uh, what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. What kind of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities, with so many having forgotten their commitments to us. I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. And what if they're no longer... Well, is this part of the joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. And what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. And how do we find the archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Alright, find the archive and the vials of blood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Mako watch over your path. I will see you when you return. So, the one question that I didn't ask, which was, um, surely you would have collected some blood by now. It is, it's part of, it's tradition for the recruits to go collect it as part of their kind of initiation. So. Let's talk to Sir Jory, or see if he has anything to say. Greetings. It is good to finally have a moment to speak with you. Uh, where are you from, Jory? I hail from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you traveled there? Uh, no. I was in Arl Eamon's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years, I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arl Eamon gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. Uh, how did the Grey Wardens find you? Last month, Duncan visited Hyover, and the ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard nice. to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. What do you think of Duncan? 
He has a seemingly impossible task with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. Hmm. All right, we got to get going. Indeed. I don't know if we have anything else to say with Javith. Yes? Where are you from, Davith? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. So you're a cut purse. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? How did the Grey Wardens find you? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were going to string me up right there. So what happened? Duncan stopped them, invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. <laughs> don't know why Duncan wants someone like me, but he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> Fair enough. What do you think of Duncan? All right for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks, too. Let's get going. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Alrighty. Um, can I, Alistair? We need to get down to the wilds. The sooner you get this done, the better. Trust me. Okay. Well, let's go. Actually, I'm gonna. Mm, okay. So I went through and upgraded everybody's equipment, and then went back to the merchant and sold all the junk from my inventory so that uh, I have enough room in my inventory to pick up whatever is going to be out in the wild. And he also had a backpack upgrade, so now we can carry more stuff. You have a buddy. I'm ready to leave. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Okay, I think, wrong button again, we have some codexes that were new. Okay. Just a couple of things. So we are looking for some dark spawn, and uh, we are going to whoa thoroughly explore this area right behind you. Oh, that's a wolf. Let's get started. Okay, that was weird. Um, okay, I can't go that way. We do want to explore this area because there are a number of mini quests to complete on it. Why is there always wolves? are just for sale. <coughs> Excuse me. That one did not give us a pelt, okay? Nothing up here. I wanted to double check. Come on. Okay. So let's just keep going this way. Whoa! Those people? Those look like people. Over here. Someone say something? Oh no. Hey. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, 
He's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. Let's try to bandage you up at least. Or we can take you back. If you just bandage me up, I can get back myself. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Um, I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. Hmm. I agree, this is kind of dangerous. See? What did I tell you? A bit of fear isn't unnatural, you know. Few relish meeting Darkspawn up close. I know I don't. Uh, I don't know. I didn't say that I did. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight? We might die, but we'll be warned about it first. <laughs> that is reassuring. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Okay. So, yeah. Alistair seems pretty confident that we're not all going to die. Well, fruit. So some of the stuff that we're collecting we can use to like make health potions and stuff like that. Which is why it's good to collect. I don't want to go back to Ostagar. I'm just exploring. And I'm ran into a tree. Great. Did I go in a circle? Huh. I totally did. Didn't even realize that that's what I was doing. Man, look at all these people. Oh, a flower. Hey. I needed one of those for the doggy. Dark spawn approach. Watch for their blood. Oh, I see him. There's stuff over there. Right. Hey, he walked right past me. Damn, Alistair battle rammed him. And there's more. Vile blood. That's one. Venom. Got two. Need one more. What is off this way? More dark spawn. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Got you. I 
And three. We have our three vials. Rigby's field journal. Huh, okay. Signs of the Chasen, new codex. Quest related, that's what we want. Okay, so this one is related to a specific quest, so this one we have to read. The Chasen Barbarians are nothing if not clever. They have hidden markers and signs in the arrangements of stones and rubble along the paths of the wilds. In this way they mark trails, note places of interest, and even give warnings in a way that outsiders cannot understand. Interestingly, these markers look indistinguishable from regular piles of bones. I've dedicated my time to deciphering these signs, and I believe I am close to a breakthrough. The trail markers seem to point to a hoard or a location used for secret storage among the chasen. I've only found a portion of the message, however. I think that I could complete the message, find all the trail markers, I can find this cache, and see what treasure the chasen have to hide. I've found one such marker near this camp, under a fallen tree leaning against the ruins. Each marker seems to point to one or two others. I hear rumors that the Darkspawn Horde is coming. I hope I can find this treasure before it's too late. So, under a fallen tree, leaning against the ruins. So this is one of the mini quests that I mentioned. Under a fallen tree. Right here, leaning against the ruins. And we're looking for a marker. Chasing trail sign. Okay, well I found it, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't get another clue, so I don't know. Apparently the, the map is where the markers to the next trail uh, show up. It's not... Um, it doesn't, you know, pop up like I was expecting it to, as far as like, oh, the next, the next one is this way. I was expecting some kind of text bubble to pop up, but uh, apparently it doesn't do that. It just shows up on the map. So that is how we find the others. Um, where are you again? Okay, I'm going the right way. Up here, found that one, and then what, oh, that's the cache, that's Ostagar, okay, so there's still, that? there's still a lot of map, and um, hopefully it will show up at some point, okay, nothing special over here, do our companions have anything to say, nothing, hey, I'm following, yeah, you are. We still need to find those documents. It's okay. Here. Nobody has anything to say about our travels. Let's not <laughs> go hill climbing. An interesting ruin. And I'm just wandering around. I may cut some of this out. Because I'm sure this is very thrilling for you guys. Oh my god, what happened here? Missionary Rigby. Rigby's last will and testament. New quest, last will and testament. New codex. Whoever finds this note, this is the last will and testament of Rigby the missionary, proud speaker of the maker's word. I have come to the wilds to speak the chant, but I fear I will die here in the hands of the darkspawn. I have, I leave all that I came with to my wife, Jetta, should the reader of this note feel charitable, I have buried a sealed lockbox in our camp, 
nestled in a Tevinter ruin in the western reaches of the wilds. It is my will that this lockbox finds my wife in Redcliffe and that it is still sealed shut when it reaches her. To my wife and my son, I apologize that my work has taken me from you, but I know, but I know that I die in service to the maker. So a lockbox in a camp nestled to the west. Okay. So we have to find that lockbox. Task complete. On to the next. Oh, chasing trail sign. On that one. So he said ruins to the west by our camp. So this is the, there it is, hidden cache. You rummage around in the rubble and find Rigby's secret cache. Inside is an iron lockbox sealed with wax. Take the lockbox to bring to Jetta or open the lockbox and keep the contents. I will take the lockbox. You stow the lockbox in your pack. And our quest is updated and we will have to give that to his wife. Uh, I believe he said Redcliffe, so we got a ways, but we'll get to it. Look there, poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. Did the dark spawn string them up like that? Why? I don't... Uh, I'll just keep going. There it is. Looky here. There's another one. Oops. We still need to find those documents talk to you. if they're even here. Huh. Hey. A letter. Farewell letter to Jogby. My dear son Jogby, I fear this is the last letter I will write you. I've had difficulty finding the chasen to bring them the maker's word. I have, however, seen evidence of their passing. They appear to have left this area in great haste possibly fleeing the so-called darkspawn that are rumored to be gathering in the wilds in ever greater numbers. I've left you a weapon and everything else I can spare, my son. You will try, I will try to find you once I have found a safe place. I only hope you will be safe. With luck, we will meet again. If you see her, tell your mother that I love her and take care of our family. Oh, huh. Missionary Jongby, look at that. He also has a letter. My dearest son, it pleases me that you wish to follow in my footsteps and bring the Maker's word to the unenlightened. I wish you'd chosen a less dangerous place to do so. Apologize, apologies for leaving early for the wild son, but I wanted to set up camp and get things started. To chase and respect one with survival skills in the wild, so I hoped to get a grip on that before you arrived and maybe establish an agreement with a local tribe so that we had friends when you came. When you reach the wilds, you'll find it difficult to navigate. I've listed certain landmarks below. If you follow them, they will lead you to a location I've scouted out where I've left you some supplies. If you're lost, try to get back to that spot and I will find you. Landmarks are as follows, beginning at the entrance to the wilds, look for a tree leaning on a ruined building, pass under a fallen tree bridge, pass a submerged tower on the right, look between a high and ruined arch and a mostly standing stone, walk along a path of roots and stones, look for two large statues with a chest between them. So we did this backwards, we were supposed to find this body first, and then find the the statues and then find the chest and the chest I guess um, contains the weapon chasing flat blade yeah that would make sense 
So yeah, we we totally we did this quest backwards and we found it. We found the item that we were supposed to find before we found the actual quest. What? There they are. There's more. Oh my goodness. Dark spawn. They just crop up everywhere, don't they? Yeah, they do. Oh damn! Someone, yeah, someone's hurling magic at us. I'm gonna get you first. No, you run away. Get him, Jory. I'll get you too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't step on those. Let me get him first. Alistair, no! Ugh. So many of them. Yeah, knock him out. Ah, oh. that was fun. I guess that's why it saved in case we died. New codex, pinch of ass. Ashes. Oh, this is another quest. The Kakari Wilds are rife with legends and myths that have amazed and confused scholars since the since the fall of Ostagar in ancient times. One such mystery Okay, sorry. Lies behind the tale of Ostia in Nebanar, two young lovers who lived in Ostagar. The legend says that Ostia grew up in the company of Gazarath, a spirit of earth bound to an overhang on the back of a lake in the Kakari Wilds. Gazaroth began to fancy her, and they spent much of their days together talking and laughing. Over the years, however, Ostia became a woman and began to seek, seek the company of men. When Ostia and Nebunar, the two, fell in love, and Ostia hoped to bring her lover to see her spirit friend, but the spirit, angered and jealous, bade her be gone. Gazaroth told her that she would never see it again until she brought her lover's ashes and sprinkled them over the spot. Astia was horrified and she fled from the enraged spirit but she began to miss Gazarath and on the day Nebunar asked her to marry him she cut her beloved's throat, burned him and brought his ashes to Gazarath knowing that their marriage would for forever sever her ties to her dear spirit friend. There are legends among the chasen that Gazarath still haunts the lake and that those who sprinkle the ashes of the deceased over the right spot can summon the spirit in memory of the contract with its beloved Ostia, Gazarth will grant a single wish and then vanish, never to be heard from again. A note is scribbled in the margin beneath the page. Marcus, I think this is real. If you take the ashes I gave you and scatter them over a pile of rocks on an overhang overlooking that half-sunken to Vinter Dome, maybe Gazarth will appear and give you a wish. If the battle takes you there, I think it's worth a try. And we know where that dome is. It's back this way. That thing, right there. So can I get over there this way? Probably not. There's the overhang. Can I walk? No, you don't like me walking through water. Hold on. Chasing trail sign. Yes, I want that. What's that. Okay, now it's an official quest. It's down there. Okay. Alright, let's move, move, move. Somebody, please. Let's go this way. Here we go. Somehow, I don't think a vengeful spirit is gonna grant us wishes. But we shall see. I want the death root. And pile of rocks. You see a pile of stones covered in a fine layer of dust and ash. Sprinkle more ash on the pile of stones. Oh, 
Codex updated. Ooh, and loot. Potent lyrium potion. Pile of rags. Enchanter's footing. Okay. So we got some stuff. Oh, there's a camp. Why is it still lit? Oh god. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Chastened cash. Ooh. That's a good stuff. Oop, nope, take all of it. Quest completed. So I think we have finally completed. There's another flower. Um, all of these side quests here. All right. So, um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can find links to Facebook, Twitter, and what else? Facebook, Twitter, oh, Patreon, in the description. And um, thank you so much for your support, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.